What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we've got more silly season updates to talk about. So we thought the GMS's lineup was set for 2020 for truck series. Apparently it's not. Um, Zane Smith's going to GMS full time next year. I didn't see this coming to be honest with you. I thought their lineup was set up for 2020. So let's get into the report because this is shocking to me. So Zane Smith joins GMS Racing Truck Series efforts. GMS Racing officials announced today that NASCAR driver Zane Smith will compete full-time in the NASCAR Grand Outdoors Truck Series for GMS Racing in 2020, completing the organization's full-time Gander Trucks full lineup. Veteran crew chief Kevin bono Mannion has joined the organization to lead the team for Smith. In 2018, Smith drove for MDM Motorsports and competed full-time in the ARCA Racing Series. Throughout the season, Zane Smith captured four wins, 12 top fives, 13 top tens, one pole award, and earned a runner-up finish in the series standings, finishing right behind Sheldon Creek. Also in 2018, Smith made one Gander Truck start with DJR Crossley at Worldwide Technology Raceway, where he finished fifth in his first Gander Truck Series start. Most recently, Smith competed for Junior Motorsports in 10, 10 NASCAR Sony Series events and accumulated two top fives and seven top ten finishes. When I got the offer from Mike Beam to asking me to run a truck full-time for GMS Racing, I couldn't pass up the opportunity, Sam Smith. GMS is a championship caliber team, and a big part of an organization like theirs is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm looking forward to working with Manning again. He has a lot of experience, and I know we will be a great team. Manny has called the shots to top the pit box for many notable top name drivers like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Martin Truck Jr., Kyle Busch, and many others. Over all three NASCAR series, Manny has accumulated an impressive resume, including five wins in the Cup Series, 27 top fives, 65 top tens, and 10 poles. Those, uh, two of those wins being the 2010 Daytona 500 and their 2010 Breakout 400, when he was crew chief for Jamie McMurray. 15 Oscar Finney Series wins, 36 top five finishes, 53 top tens, and nine poles. Two of those in two championships coming with Mark Truck Sr. 2004 and 2005. And four truck wins, 16 top fives, 28 top tens, and one pole. I am really excited to join GMS and Zane Smith for 2020, said Mannion. With GMS Racing's championship caliber equipment and Chevy support, we have all the resources to win some races and be in the hunt for the 2020 championship. I got the opportunity to crew chief Zane in his first Gander Truck Series starting in 2018 at Gateway, and we worked really well together. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish next season. Over the past seven years in Gander Trucks competition, GMS has 27 wins, 103 top fives, 204 top tens, 13 poles, and one championship in 2016 with Johnny Sauter. We are thrilled to welcome Zane and Kevin Mannion into the GMS Racing family for the 2020 season, said Mike Beam, president of GMS Racing. With Kevin's veteran crew chief knowledge and Zane's skill, they will be a great team. I think we have a solid lineup for 2020, and I can't wait for to see what we can accomplish. Additional information on sponsorship and an assigned truck number for Smith will be announced at a later date. So, Zane Smith is going to GMS. Um, let's be honest, let me say wow. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was not expecting there to be uh, four full-time trucks for uh, GMS in 2020. I don't think really anybody saw it coming, to be quite honest with you. Um... But it's good. I like Zane a lot. I think he did pretty well in the Xfinity Series when he ran. I mean, two top fives, seven top tens, and ten starts. That's pretty good. That's not perfect, but that's pretty good, I would say. And that's good enough to earn an opportunity in the Truck Series. In my opinion, this is what Zane should have done uh, last year. Instead of going in Xfinity and running, uh, you know, those ten races for Junior Morrisworks, why not just run full-time for GMS and get a full season? One, it's going to get him experience with this talent. It's going to get him experience. He's going to be a championship caliber driver all year next year. He's going to be really going to be a threat for this championship, in my opinion. He just made GMS a stronger team, and he's going to be there helping maybe Brett and Sheldon or some new skills. Just kidding. I bet Brett will probably be the veteran there helping out uh, Zane there. But wow, uh, GMS is stacked for next year. Holy crap. I was not expecting their lineup to be this stacked for, for 2020. With four... Good drivers, three really good drivers, and one pretty good driver. And Sam Mayer as a part-time driver. Whew, the the um, 
the truck series is going to be very fun to watch next year. Ooh, we got a lot of more con con competition next year because holy crap, there is a lot of good competition next year for 2020. I was not expecting Zane Smith to be announced. Um, I was very shocked when he got announced uh, to earlier this afternoon. So yeah, uh, pretty incredible. Uh, Zane is almost was almost a champion in 2018 in ARCA. Maybe we could see him win a championship in 2020. But we're going to find that out uh, throughout the year. My expectations for Zane, I'm expecting at least a win or two. Um, I'm expecting one win or two wins next year. Nothing more, nothing less. All he has really for me, all he has to do is win a race or two. That's fine with me. If he wins next year, that, that's fine with me. Even though it might be tough with how many drivers in there, I think he can do it. Zane's got a lot of talent, a lot of potential. He's going to do a lot of good things, I think, next year. But, man, the competition of other teams better be watching their backs because GMS just got stronger for 2020. And it's going to be a crazy year for the GMS organization. As a Chevy fan, I am very happy that we're going to get a strong team, a strong GMS team next year. So, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can notify when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on all my social medias. Links in the description below for that. And comment below your opinions on the situation. How do you think Zane will do next year in 2020? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.